Lesson 13, real and imaginary parts. Now, real parts are indicated by the letter RE and imaginary IM. Part 1, if Z equals 4 plus 3I, find the real part of Z plus 1 over Z. Now, say that Z plus 1 over Z will be equal to 4 plus 3i plus 1 over 4 plus 3i, which becomes 5 plus 3i over 4 plus 3i. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate, which is right there. 4 minus 3i over 4 minus 3i. Right, now we're going to multiply these top parts together. So it's 5 plus 3i times 4 minus 3i. Removing the brackets, we get 5 outside of 4 minus 3i plus 3i outside of 4 minus 3i, which gives you 20 minus 15i plus 12i. Now here this becomes 3 times 3 is 3 times minus 3 is minus 9. So the i squared is minus 1 makes it plus 9. So that becomes 29 minus 3i. Now the bottom part, 4 plus 3i times 4 minus 3i is simply 16 plus 9, which is the 25. So putting that together, we get that's equal to 29 minus 3i over 25, which becomes 29 on 25 minus 3i on 25. So the real part of z plus 1 over z is equal to this part here, 29 over 25. And in part 2, if z equals 4 plus 3i, find the imaginary part of z plus z conjugate on z. So we'll write z plus z conjugate on z is equal to 4 plus 3i plus 4 minus 3i all over 4 plus 3i, which becomes 8 over 4 plus 3i. Now we'll multiply by the conjugate, which is 4 minus 3i over 4 minus 3i. So this becomes 8 outside of 4 minus 3i all over. That's 16 plus 9 is equal to 25. Now this may have cancelled, but it didn't, so I'll expand the top. So that becomes 32 minus 24i on 25. Let's do that. Therefore, the imaginary part of z plus z conjugate on z is equal to this part here, minus 24i on 25.